Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. We're back on schedule. This is a back to basics tutorial, so if you are an advanced user, you're probably going to find this to be a little bit out of your league, or not in your league of um, knowledge. Um, but for those of you that are very um, new to Photoshop or want to learn some cool new things that are simple and easy to do, that's where I come in. So today, I am showing you how to create, to add rays to your photo, sun rays. And you're going to want to have, you're going to want to use a photo that already has a sun, some sort of a light in your photo. So I'm using this photo here I found on Google.com that has a sunny like image already in there. Um, any photo that has a light source of some sort will work as long as it's not too dark of a light source. Um, some photos have a light dark source and some don't. You want to have a pretty bright dark, a pretty bright light source within your photo, such as this one here. So what you're going to do, immediately upon opening your photo of choice, duplicate that layer to make a layer 1 copy. Alright, now on your layer 1 copy, you're going to want to go to Image and Adjustments and select Levels. Or you can do a Control L, that will also open up Levels as well, without having to do the whole selecting and all that. Right, once you open that, take the middle marker and make it all, go, bring it all the way to the, left, to the right. Okay. You want to see that red, green, and all that black stuff. Okay. Now the next portion is a bit is optional. I'm going to explain why it's optional. Now, when doing this um, effect, it'll come out one of two ways. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this image right now because I like to have my rays with a white kind of a backslash slash color to it. But if you want to go ahead and try it without the decorating of the photo, and you want to leave it as is, then you can skip my next step and go on to the one after that. But I happen to think my photo looks really nice decorated, but again, if you want to try it without the decoration of the photo, by all means, go for it. But I'm just letting you know that it might look nicer with the decorated photo. But again, it's personal preference and it's optional. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate my photo by image and adjustments. Um, all right. Now, once you have your photo the way you want it, decorated or not, here's the next step. We're going to go to filter. We're going to select radial blur. And you want to have it with a zoom blur mode with a best quality and 100% for your amount. Now, once you have those lovely numbers and things put in there, you're going to go over here to the blur center and you're going to move the blur portion to wherever your light source is. My light source happens to be at the top at the top right. Yours might be in the center, bottom left, right, left, I don't even know. So move that center to wherever your light source is, that way you get a really nice ray and it looks really nice. Alright, once you have it where you like it, click OK and boom, there's your ray. Now we're not done yet guys, we have a lot, a couple more steps to go. If you think your ray isn't too showing or doesn't show enough for you, you can go ahead to filter and add another radial blur like we just did. Redo the same effect twice. But if you think your phone needs just a touch of a blur, then you can go ahead and go to filter and you can add a Gaussian blur with a three point with a three point radius. Alright, anywhere from three to four would be fine for a Gaussian blur. But again, it's all optional. I'm only doing it once because I'm just, I like it the way it is, but you may not. Every photo is going to have a different look towards the ray. Okay, once you've done that, select screen for your blend mode. All right. Ooh, looking pretty cool. We're almost done. We've got one more step to go. So once you have that looking the way it is, go back into image and adjustments and select levels yet again. This time, we're going to take the middle marker and move it all, to, all the way to the left. Not all the way to the left, but as far left as you want. Now you'll see how that's a really like a large amount of rays and you think it looks really ridiculous. Just move it wherever you feel you want to see your ray. So I like it right about here. That looks really nice to me. And as you'll notice, when I moved it all the way to the, to the left, you can see the white ray. Now, if I didn't leave that white and I left it undecorated, it wouldn't be as white. It would show the red and the, and the green and the yellow. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's why I thought white and a dusted rainy photo would look really nice. So I'm going to leave mine right at about 2.37. That looks okay to me. Click OK and you're good to go. There's your light source. There's your rays. It looks like the sun is perfectly shining in on your photo. So how cool is that? Is that simple? Was that easy? Um, I hope it was easy enough for you. If it was very, if it was somehow complicated, not that it would be complicated for you, but if it was very confusing in some way, leave a comment down below and I'll help you out as best I can. Or you can inbox me if you have a question or a concern or a suggestion. I do try and get back in a timely fashion to everyone. Maybe not on time, but I do get back as soon as I possibly can. Um, and if you want to even email me something, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you want to email me too, you can as tutorials at gmail.com. I will answer there. Um, you can find me on the web just about everywhere you are. Um, I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. Um, yeah, all that stuff. So find me on there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on Saturday slash Sunday slash sometime this other week with a newer video for other people that like doing stuff. All right, bye. Yeah.